Hello all, Havoc here. Let's get ready to play some Space Engineers. Okay. Last time we left off, uh, here we are. Control panel, upstairs. Whoa. We are in uh, range of the station. Turn my gravity off and, oh yeah, there he is up there. So, you know, let's fix that. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, <laughs> As a, where was I? I digress. Um, so last time we left off, we uh, we got our docking collars, uh, our temporary docking collars in place for our ships, and uh, we discussed uh, tearing that apart and putting in the modded collectors instead. We got our cockpit on here, and uh, yeah, functioning, fully charged. And so, okay, we're going to, you know, let's, I, I just said it, let's do that. We're going to start with the gravity generator. Um, I want to put two on the ship. I'm going to put one up here in the nose um, to pull rocks down. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another one here, back here. I'm going to have them set at two different settings. Uh, so this gravity field over here will be... You notice on the space station, or on the base station, I'm going to say, not space, whatever. Um, I put uh, a point three because it's just enough for you to stay on the ground. You take a little bit less falling damage, and it conserves energy. So the higher your gravity, the more, gener or the more energy you end up using. But uh, what I'm going to do is back here, I'm going to do a solid one. You know, just one full G of gravity back here. Up here, where the... The collectors are going to be. I'm going to do a lighter load of gravity, but a larger field. So um, I might do a spherical gravity generator. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. So let's get this one in place anyway. Because if we put a 1G gravity down here and we keep lower gravity elsewhere, like on stations, which I probably will do going forward on any if I build any other stations. Um, then we will always have ground to stand on. Might kind of walk a little tilted like that, but we will still be able to walk on the ground. I'll say on the deck because not exactly ground. So, okay. Uh, downstairs. How are we getting there? Let's see here. I think I cut a hole here, didn't I? I thought I cut a hole right here somewhere. There it is. <clears throat> And we'll be able to finish our, our ledge thrusters and uh, have all our thrusters online. So, um, as we've talked about changing the size of the ship and everything, I think I'm going to put that gravity generator back here. It seems to make the most sense to be furthest away from that other field. So, G, gravity generator. And these are going to take a ton of components. I just know it. Starting off with steel plates. Okay. Oh, really now? They, I wish that would work. I'm ho holding shift and end and there it goes. It worked that time. I have none in the production queue. Oh no, because Maelstrom was providing all their steel plates. Okay. Production. Actually, I'm gonna check on iron first. We might. There is not a lot of iron on this ship. Okay, well, it's not hard to get. I keep closing that menu. Um, <clears throat> we need some... You know, let's go through production, see who's building what. I think I have somebody on repeat build for construction components. Let's see here. Yes, we do. You, stop that. And... Take a thousand of those-ish. 
five interior plates, you can stop that too. Six displays. We made a ton of displays across all our machines. That's quite all right. And so one of our viewers, uh, Lee, was telling me that uh, in the comments of our last video that we made a bunch of construction components on the space station. So, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. We're going to check here and see how many we have. I think I did have them looped here, but um, I stopped them to make reactor components. And yeah, it's empty here now. There's hide empty. Let's see here. Hey, there's some steel plates. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of anything left here. Oh, hey, that's not where I wanted that to go. I wanted that to go to me. Me. Thank you. Um, so yeah, there's not a lot of left, anything left here on the station. Um, there is a ton of iron though. Could definitely use that on the, on the, on the large ship right now. Huh? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly this back here and um, get this iron into the system here. Oh, I think I'm gonna cheat. Maybe. We can do this. Large cargo container, iron. So now they'll pull from there. So let's see. Okay, we need some gravity components. How many? I think it's a lot. I think that's what the difficult component's gonna be. So I got a question for you guys, so part of the interface with this. Um, do you, you guys miss being able to scroll wheel between items? I know in other games, like, you hear me scroll wheeling. Um, to do, you know, swap between these items, you just use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out. I'm just wondering if anybody else is like, why is that not a feature? Oh, hey, this is not as bad as I thought. Six gravity components. I thought they were way more intensive than that. Production similar one. Okay, we're gonna make enough to build two. Um, oh, there'll be three actually, but um, why did I grab those? Yeah, my caps lock button today, wow. Okay, so I'm going to take, put those girders back, come on guys, work with me here. Large tubes, probably the biggest thing in the game, hey they're large tubes, um, maybe not, maybe gravity components are bigger. Let's see here, oh come on, alright, here's eight. <laughs> And we've got gravity, and I don't mean the movie. Whoops, there's a hole there. All right, well, hey, let's fix that hole. We got gravity on the ship. We're going to turn it down for now. Um, let's see, we'll turn it to s eight. Uh, every little bit helps. Um, Garbage inner field width. We'll adjust these later. Um, I'll show you how to do that. Click in here. We're going to go to 0.8. And so that's going to give us um, a, I think if we come up here on top. Yeah, see how it, it's starting to fight the other gravity field. See, we're walking a little sideways. But uh, if we kick this up to uh, a full 1G, it would it would straighten us out but we can still walk around on on the deck here so that's cool all right so let's climb up here in our ship scorpion how's it going man okay so we are going to look for 
Thruster components. Oh, nope. Okay, so let's go to here. I was holding down shift for some reason. And okay, so that's all of that. So I'm gonna look up folder. Put all those there. Some of those there, some of those there. You know, I really like the fact the Scorpion's uh, such a small ship, but man, I need to put more storage on him. Okay, so we are going to decouple now. All right. Let's go make us some, uh, some thrusters. Wow, lead over rotate. Good job, Attic. So after the last one pushing our ship out of the way, <laughs> uh, we're gonna wheel from down here this time. Watch it knock the cockpit off. Oh, hey. <laughs> that was convenient. All right, two birds, one stone, all right. Way to go there. Um, so let's see. We had all that iron on the uh, on the station. So we're going to go down to the station now, and we're going to queue up uh, some steel plates for production. And after that, we're going to do something I've been talking about doing for a while, uh, as far as for this ship, and turn our jackpacks on. <clears throat> and that's going to be uh, we're going to label all the storage on this so we can search for it easier. And and by the time we get around to our next episode, I'm going to be getting all, because we're going to have more of the refineries up and running on this ship. I want to get the scripts running for the automatic inventory sorting system. Uh, I told you guys I'm going to start using more mods, so I mean, we're going to be doing it. So once I get these refineries up in here, we're going to get all those scripts running so we can make sure that um, we're utilizing, where we are we, where are we? Um, we're utilizing our uh, resources properly and uh, because we're going to have another two more storage containers going. And um, yeah, we're going to need to be able to be taking care of things proper. So you are making displays. Why are you making displays? And why can't I cancel that? Oh, there it goes. Um, we're going to put uh, repeat build. Um, oh, um, there's no one's made comment of it. Um, a couple patches ago, they uh, added a uh, master slave um i want to say interface but that's not the proper word um basically you can set up a master uh production queue so basically you know okay in our ship we have like what six or eight uh assemblers uh you can interface just one and tell it that i want to build a hundred of these, hundred of these, hundred of these, hundred of these, hundred of these. And what they'll do is, is the master one will tell all the slave units to help build. And so then they'll, they'll take and build all the components and work together as a team. So you don't have to split up your production queue. I personally, it's a good feature, but um, I don't think it's fleshed out yet. I haven't had it working very smoothly. Um, so I just, I just don't use it and that's what this is so see enable cooperative mode this is how that would work and i just you'd have one master one and then you could set all the rest to be slave to that master one like i said just not a big keen of it big fan of it um over there we have like six assemblers so we can literally build all the major components in one go as we need it so it's kind of how i do it there Enough babbling, Havoc. Let's get you on auto rebuild and get building those. So yeah, we're gonna make a lot of steel plates, which is fine because we're gonna need it for all that heavy armor that's on there and there's gonna be more added. So we have these sloped armor blocks, these like these here, and we're gonna use these to shape from there going forward to that engine. So that's how we're going to get this thing to look less like a uh, floating refrigerator um, with a blunder on the side. 
Okay, so we're doing that. That's going. I don't think I want to. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's have both of them do it. Let's run this place out of iron. Um, I'm actually going to do this, 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 and this. So that's going ballistic. That's lots of fun. So we're, we're going to make sure that we get some diversity out of our iron in this in this a little bit of run here. Okay, so you know we talked about doing two things with this ship. Uh, one was adding small welders here so we can stop breaking the cockpit. Um, so I think we're going to start with that first. So then what we need to do is we need to take these outside welders off. So do we have room to do this? Okay, so we can take him off. Okay, and so we want to put this to here. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have enough room to do this. And so what we're looking to do now from by doing this is, uh, let's see here, we're gonna get this small welder on the inside and it has a much shorter, uh, stubbier interface for welding and so I'm hoping that it will incorporate it if not the cockpit at least this little bumper we made so we're going to go and grind this down now be careful I don't hit my cockpit okay oh I'm in my uh, mod spotlight for the uh, short welders I tried to rebuild this and I didn't realize how after filming that um, I used one of the modded uh, connector blocks to make this work and uh, so yeah maybe someday I'll go back and rebuild this or something and you guys can see it then how I made it so okay come in here let's see so far medium and near so we're, that's what we're gonna use we're gonna use the near one and we're gonna use shift P so we can do color matching see just like that actually do we want to do color matching on this? Hmm. No, I don't. So you hit P, don't hit the shift key, and then it brings up another, your color swat. I'm gonna go with these as a different color. So these two internal ones that are different from the rest, we're gonna paint them a different color. All right, so that goes like that, and then we'll put another large uh, far one back on the outside. Let's see, G. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we were just in here. I think I would know what it, where it was. So now we're gonna put this like that. A little bit of a, we need steel plates to weld that. We're gonna need a lot of things to weld that actually. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna take all of that, all of that. So we can finish up the last one because it was missing just displays. Let's weld it up first. Oh, I need to pull glass, not displays. Okay, construction components, small tubes, motors, computers. Lots of things. Okay, hide empty. All right, so we need bulletproof glass, compute. Oh, well, we don't need a thousand computers. Uh, we will take 20 computers, 20 construction components, uh, small steel tubes. Let's see, what else did I need? I needed. I think I needed more steel, more glass than that. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, two motors and power cells, okay. Mota. Motor, there, there we go. Get back over here. 
Okay, so we need uh, two bulletproof glass. Nope, that one's done. So we just need one bulletproof glass. All right, so that's that side. Uh, do the same thing on the other side. And let's see here. If I clear my inventory, I might be able to hold both of them. <gasps> Whoa, what did I not do? I didn't check the inventory of this folder. Ah, I know better. Okay, luckily that one's empty, so. How about you? You got some thruster components. Let's put those into the main cargo hold. Okay. And so how much volume do we have? Oh yeah, we can hold both of these. Okay, cool. All right, whoa, let's not hit any. Let's do some uh, integrity checking while we're in here, shall we? Oh. Banged up something. Didn't catch if it was a thruster or that welder. Ah, I should have done that. Mm. All right. I just realized what I did. I put some of these components inside there. So let's see. We need near. And that's the wrong color. So I like using the shift P thing to keep that. In. And then we're going to middle mouse click on it. And that should have welded it. Or, uh, so there it is. We made it turn to the right color. So now we're going to use the far one. Boom. Okay, so we need eight bulletproof glass. Let's see what we got. how much we got in here. None. Okay, let's verify we don't have any inside here. Yep, okay. We'll find some somewhere. I think we have some on the large ship. Okay, so now that's all set up. We're coming here to the inventory and we're gonna go to, actually not inventory, we're gonna go to control panel. And so our cargo container is called this. So we, Scorpion medium cargo container. So what we're going to do is name everything that has inventory. So all our small reactors are going to be small reactors uh, one through, they're six through nine. Oh, because we broke some, moved some, did, did a bunch of stuff in the build process. Um, so we're going to rename these all to uh, Scorpion uh, SR one through yada. And then um, we're going to do that to anything that has um, cargo space so all our welders are going to get named that so um yeah so i'm gonna get cracking on that and i might just speed up for this part oh hey okay um so yeah if there's a speed up or cutscene then now you know why okay so here's a little breakdown of what i did so to cover up the uh, time lapse so you can see what I was doing and what the idea behind it is. So actually, I'm going to change this. I, I don't know what it is, but to go with what I was just talking about, I'm going to change that up a little bit. OK, so what I'm going to do is at any point in time when we're docked, we're going to be able to go into inventory and type Scorpion. So everything that comes up in this side of the list will be Scorpion. So when I'm docked to the main base or the large ship, we're gonna have miscellaneous storage on this side, Scorpion over here, and we can literally do that. So in addition to that, let's go back over here. I can do an M on the front of it. So anything that is medium or small, I can just literally, that's my little breakdown there. I did not put a dash in front of these because it's going to allow me to um, to move between specific ones. So I'll go back over here and show you again and over here. So if I go Scorpion and I just put a one, anything that has a one in the name is now going to get filtered. So now I can turn around and do welder. See, so now we have all our welders. I want welder five. So there we go. So it's an easier way to filter through specific inventory, especially when like on the large ship or even here for that matter, we could have the station 
and eight ships connected to this thing. Oh, well, actually, nine ships connected to this thing at any one given time. So as long as we knew what we know what ship we're looking for and where is it, have an idea of where it is. There we go. We're going to be able to find what we want on the scorpion alone or put things on the scorpion because we know that's where it's going to go. Uh, a little bit more forethought went into it where I put everything in grouping and I added scorpion to the grouping as well. I should have done the same thing for this. Oh, I did. Okay. So actually what I need to do or do that. <clears throat> so we have the scorpion welders. They're small thrusters. Put the S in there and reactors. Oh, I should have put that in there as well. Because who knows, it could get a, uh, a large reactor in the future. So, um, and the same thing for these, I put all our small thrusters in a group because uh, if I put a large thruster on this thing, I probably will only use it for getting from A to B. And then once I get to B, turning off the large thruster. What that allows us to do is you come in here, hit the G menu, you have groups. So now there's our small reactors, there's our thrusters, and there's our welders. So now we can actually apply these to groups. I'm not sure, quite sure. We can check that real quick, but I think you can get to groups when they're docked. If we can get to groups while docked, then we can turn around and access these groups. We'll go this way, we're gonna back up. Come on, come on, come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, Scorpion's docked. So now we're gonna get out of the Scorpion and we're gonna come down here. And <laughs> the large ship's winning. Uh, I don't usually turn my gravity off down here anyway. Um, or my uh, jetpack. So, oh, we look up there. The Maelstrom and the Scorpion's thrusters are on. That's wasting energy. Uh, I forgot we tore this apart. Okay. So we're going to come over here to another terminal. And now we'll see that... Uh, yeah, we can access those groups from here. So small thrusters, off. There we go. Scorpion's conserving energy now. And actually, we're going to make one more group just to make that a little easier. Um, let's see, let's go into K. Scorpion connector. We're gonna make one. We're just gonna call it con. Hello. So it's gonna be on here. So we can turn this block off. Check that out. We don't have to worry about uh, trying to squirm away from the connector anymore. So to add to that, we're gonna take and we're gonna put that on our hotbar. So we go to groups, connector. I'm gonna put it right here. Toggle on off. Five, it's back on. So now we can literally just hit that button and dock and undock whenever we need to. That'll make life a little bit easier for all future endeavors. Okay, so I'm gonna do this to, I'm not gonna do it to the large ship. One, the components are done being built and two, renaming them and then adding the scripts again afterwards is doubling the work. So we're not gonna do that. I'll do the Maelstrom uh, later off camera, and um, I guess we'll do the space station too. Um, it's named, so that's kind of the other thing. The large station isn't named, so it make it a little harder. And we'll do for the Reaper as well. So one, two, three, all three of those guys will get uh, updated off camera. Hopefully by the next time we go to uh, do some more filming. So, all right, we got gravity on. We're gonna go take this guy and we're gonna dock him up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we're not. We're gonna come back over here and dock him. Whoa. Okay, let's see here. Let's get this docked in here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, we're gonna land here, we're gonna dock and uh, we're going to uh, take all our components that are just kicking away and we're gonna go throw them on the ship. I'm gonna get those on the large ships. We can go inventory. Hey, here's a test of what we're gonna to want to do. So we're gonna go 
Sift empty, come over here, Scorpion. So everything shows up here that we have inventory on. And we're gonna go like this. It could be kind of nice if there was one for um, full containers as well, right? Maybe if there was two check boxes here, one for full, one for empty. I think if we got rid of hide, I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, empty containers, click that, and it only showed empty containers. And another box here, you click that, and it only showed full containers. And then, I don't know, something like that, I think would be kind of cool. Um, or maybe move these over and put hide empty here and have a checkbox and another checkbox. Maybe even not label them. You guys, they're keen over there, keen software, they didn't label these except for in the hover over. So I don't know, maybe something like that. Two checkboxes for hide empty and hide full. So it's like this one here, it's not full, but so it wouldn't hide it. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. And we're going to grab, so this is not us because it's not the scorpion. We know that now. We need steel plates, lots of steel plates. We're full there. All right, so we are full there, full there. Let's put this here. It, yeah, again, I've been meaning to do this for a while, um, specifically because of uh, how much time it can save us by doing this. And so let's put this stuff in here. And where's the large cargo container? Here is a large cargo container. Let's grab everything it has. Okay. In here, you'll take some components and full, full, full. See again, hide full. I, I, I think that would be a, a pretty, uh, pretty interesting feature. And medical components we don't need. We got a lot of large steel tubes right now. Okay, we're gonna grab what these guys have to offer. And we're gonna go to chew connector because that seems to be like the only one that's got anything left. And interior plates, those we got lots of small steel tubes. Small steel tubes usually are pretty sparing. And that's back into us. So okay, we're gonna take this uh, and we're going to go. You know what? I just realized something. I have not used this too much. Filtered storage inventory. Filtered system inventory and filter energy. Okay, I do remember what these are for. Uh, a little explanation. If you click, see how we got reactors in here right now? You click here, reactors get taken out. So you will not see anything that has reactors. So it's just storage containers. And then you can hide it empty on top of that. And there you go. So that's just storage compartments no other things. So system inventory are gonna be your production queues, refineries, arc furnaces, the like. Um, and again, hide empty and you won't see the miscellaneous ones. So, oh, welders count in that, okay. I actually would've put those in the storage, but they actually aren't storage, so that makes sense. And then you can go to this, and this is just gonna be your reactors. So if you wanna check the status on where your reactors are for energy, then you can turn around and hit just that, hide empty. Well, actually, you probably don't want to hide empty <laughs> uh, at some point because you would want to make sure that you don't have a couple of reactors out of uranium. So, okay, we're going to hit five button and just pull away easily. Look at that. Turn that back on, though. It's kind of like inertial dampeners. You want to make sure it's on. Okay, so now we're going to go do some welding on the ship. Um, let's see, where do we want to put the welding in? We, do, 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 do. Let's get some work done to the tower. Mm, no, I want to do the work on this side right here and weld in and maybe catch our, ref well, not maybe. I know we'll catch our refineries in there. Oh, 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 I want to try something. Ah, too far. 
All right, so we'll do that, and then um, we'll see if it it uh, repairs when we weld. A little uh, on the spot testing here. You can see we don't need to be this close, and I always end up getting that close because of depth perception. So. Bum, 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 I really like the little uh, drumming patterns they make. All right. Moving along, moving along. Going a little quick if we are actually finishing those refineries, but that's all right. So what we'll do is we'll get to here, watch that panel finish, now we'll go back. So I have a feeling we're finishing refineries on the inside, maybe? No, we're not. Otherwise our side and top welders would still be going. And those are just getting steel plates. Alright, so we're going to go down. There we go. Our bumper scraping the uh, side of the ship. Good thing we haven't put a paint job on it yet, huh? All right, so weebles wobble. Let's check our uh, cockpit. Did that get fixed? Nope. All right. Oh well, so much for that idea, right? I think maybe if this was a touch further back, but at that point the cockpit would be so far forward. Um, maybe we'll move the lasers forward. Um, maybe we'll. Put a make a scorpion mark two and uh, that's what we'll do we'll move the lasers forward freaking laser beams man freaking laser beams so, all right so that's that let's go check out how much we need for uh, some of these refineries to get online did they even touch yeah they touched that's cool why didn't they finish they have all the components. Hmm. That's odd. Oh, oh, okay. They were getting some welding in, but hmm. Interesting. Hey guys, uh, leave a comment in the video below. Did I miss a point where I put the components in these and just don't remember? Um, I don't remember doing that. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, we could, in theory, add another row of refineries down. We just lower this literally one row, and we can add a complete another row of refineries to the ship. Um, I think it would be pretty awesome. I don't think I wanted those there. Oh, crap. No, I did not. Um, I'm going to leave it for now. If we need to take it back out, I can. So it's, that's not that big a deal. So let's get in here. And we're going to... Hey, we're going to use our filtered system. And we want you on too. No. Yeah, that's where that kind of doesn't pay off. Ooh, an auto sort would be kind of nice too, right? Hmm. I'm going to try something here. What if we put this here? Go. Oh, I can just hit that. It's the same ones, right? So what if we go connector? How come? That's weird. Scorp connector. There we go. Can I do this? Oh, that's wishful thinking. Oh, it does work. did work for a split second. Small steel tubes, small steel tubes. Oh, no, I must have just actually drug click it. I was hoping to double click it here would move it there kind of thing. Oh well. Again, wishful thinking, right? So, alright, so that's all kind of same stuff. Maybe an auto sort? Or, you know, combine like items and containers? A little top, maybe some options down in here. Ooh, some options down in here would be kind of nice. It's kind of like in the mod window, 
you have all left and all right, that would be kind of nice. I want everything in here to go into here. Just click. Yeah, that that would be cool. Keen, I, I, you, I, I'm not sure you guys are watching, but here we go. So, yeah, speaking of people watching, um, putting up a little video right before this one, and I uh, hope you guys check it out because it's a big thank you to every single person who is watching this um, up to this point. Um, we got 50 subscribers. I mean, I am super excited. I mean, just ecstatic. 50 subs. And um, it, really awesome that it coincides. I'm hitting 2,000 views on my channel. I mean, like seven views off from one another. So really excited, super, 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 super excited. So it's nothing huge on the little video. It's just a big uh, shout out saying thank you to uh, all you guys that are watching. And uh, so go over there, check it out. It's like, what, four minutes long. So, so yeah, big, huge thank you to everybody who is, who is checking out my channel and subscribed and leaving the comments. The comments are the big thing for me. It really, I love being able to interact with all you guys, uh, getting comments on my mod spotlights, uh, especially from the modders. Uh, I got one mod spotlight I did where I'm actually hearing from the guy who created the mod. So that's pretty awesome. So, you know, if you guys, you know, we got that ship I got coming up. Um, if you watch that video, I'll, I'll make comment of it. You know, I got a ship that I'm going to do a mod spotlight on that a viewer. Oh, 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 wrong color. That would look odd, wouldn't it? Uh, a viewer put into the. Uh, he said, "You know, I got this ship. I built this, and I really would like you to check it out." So I was like, "Sure, no problem, man." So we're sharing it like ideas. It was based on my uh, active armor, and not passive, like the heavy blocks are. So, all right, so let's see, we're going to go ahead and dock here. All right, so we can come in here. I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna go to G, and we're gonna go to grouping, small thrusters. We're gonna start doing this. Um, I'll probably move, oh, that'd be kind of nice too, where you can move these to other bars. Um, put it here. Yes, toggle on off, that'll move it there for me though. But um, so what this will do is um, now we can do um, okay, did I not do that right? Grouping, small thrusters to here, toggle block on off. Ah, okay, there we go. So now when we get ready to leave, we can just go like this. You notice the, I just slapped the 9.8 and then, yeah. So I'll start doing those on all my ships here. Um, once I get them grouped, once I name them all up like I did on the Scorpion. Like right now the Reaper's not named, so that won't work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab the Maelstrom and uh, we're gonna dig this apart. Okay, and we're back. So there it is. Let's go ahead and climb out. All that stuff's been removed, and uh, now we should be able to um, finish these up also. Just need a couple displays on that one. Uh, a few interior plates and displays. We should have enough of all of that. Um, these are not connected without those other blocks, so I have to come over here. Interior plates. Oh, let's grab 200, um, maybe. Okay. Oh, they're probably over here in the large cargo container that's no longer connected. Yeah, that would probably be it. So, let's grab 200 of those and 10 displays. We have some glass, so we're going to take that up, but we're going to put that in the Scorpion, actually. So the Scorpion will be online with its welders at 100%. And let's see here. Boom, okay, so all of our larger or containers are now up and built. You know, I wonder if with raising these up, no, just 
just not be enough to put another set of cargo containers in. Uh, okay, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and um, go with the... Do, 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 do. Where are you? There you are. Advanced Collector. And in the generic pale gray. And make sure we're pointing in the right direction. We need steel plates. So what we're going to do is um, come over to the middle of the room, grab some steel plates, and uh, I'm going to lay the grid out, dock. I'm sure you can probably see this part coming. We're going to dock the maelstrom and the uh, um, the scorpion together, and we're going to transfer all the supplies we just grabbed out of all those components into the scorpion, and that'll allow us to. Um, build these so these will be fully functioning now because the component level is on par with a connector and all of our connectors were completed so yeah bum, bum, bum. you know looking at the way this uh the, this mod um, starts off its build. It makes me wonder. I, I'm thinking I'm going to go look on the Steam Workshop for a uh, a mod that is a like a girder assembly. Because I know there are a lot of people that you know. I'm gonna, let me out. I know there's a lot of people that when they're building their ship or their station, they will literally take and put blocks. Hmm. Yeah, they will take blocks and they will leave them just like that. Just so they get that that webbed steel frame truss look. Um, that'd be kind of cool if they're... If, I, like I said, I hadn't gone and looked, so I think I'm going to. About... Uh, stay tuned. Could be next mod spotlight. Um, about whether, you know, having steel webbed structures as a part of your base. I mean, you know, it'd be kind of cool to have that going across here like a bridge or, or a plank way. And... Uh, yeah, like I said, that'd be cool. So definitely going to go look on the Steam Workshop and see if I can find something about that. So we're going to hit our 8 key. It's going to do that. We're going to turn our engines back on and pull away. Easy peasy. All right, so now let's go dock with the Maelstrom and steal everything he has to offer. Whoa. All right. Well, my react or the whole back of my ship looks shiny. That's weird. I don't know. Oh, forgot to turn it back on. There we go. And docking. So we're gonna go to inventory. Scorp. Storage. I'm gonna use these more. Storage. And let's see, we're going to want. Specifically, I want to go for the displays. Okay, so left and right, that's orange. I just transferred the displays from myself to myself. So you're. Keep in mind that orange is the other ship. This is where it'll be nice to have the uh, naming system set up because I could literally do this and only the maelstrom will show up here only the scorpion will show up here so yeah watch for that in the next video so okay so we want this over there take that take that okay we are gonna be good here I think yeah we want all these computers all the motors and we'll go over here this will be our welders. So all our motors, all our computers, bum, bum, bum. construction components. May as well take all of these. Okay, so that's. All right. 
empty. All he's got left is a thousand small steel tubes. Do we have any space left over here? The maelstrom doesn't need anything in him because he doesn't build anything. So, all right, that's good. So now we just turn off our darking collar. Boom. And away we go. Turn it back on, of course. All right, so now we should be able to fly down here, complete these, and then we'll go underneath and we'll uh, map out. Uh... Oh, those look nice. They don't have build stages. That's cool, though. That's that's quite all right. They look cool, though. Hmm. Really? Um. <laughs> what are we missing? Why aren't you working? What are we missing here? Displays? Oh, that's weird. I thought we were using roughly the same amount of componentry. Um, da, 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 da. I want to go to this menu. Four displays each. That takes no dis Oh, dogs. Okay, so <laughs> we're still short displays because um, the originals, they were incomplete because they were missing displays as well. Way to pay attention, Avic. Uh, let's see here. We are looking for the originals, the vanillas. Where are you? Do, 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 right here. So they take four displays as well. So they're going to be in the same build stage. We happen to have some displays from... I don't remember where. Oh, hey, we wanted to fix this, didn't we? So let's do so. Um... So we need to go and do, 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 where do we have displays? I think we had a ton in that large container. So all our welders are online. Um, we are going to go down below. Uh, we're not going to cut the ship open. Let's go down below, grab the displays, and uh, get this back in route. So I could, in theory, dock the scorpion and do that, but we're not going to. I thought I had... Oh, there it is. I missed. I missed. Mista, mista. All right, so come here. Display is 2,000 of them. Yeah, and we cannot... Oh, wait. We'll get rid of this. We can't. 531, 531. Should be enough. That should be enough. Hopefully. And where are we going? Oh, hey. Oh. Looks like there's something going on with my texturing. Because that's not what that normally looks like. Or, hmm, that's weird. I right, see, so that's what it normally looks like. Maybe that's what it does look like, just in the dark. Who knows? Alright, so we're going to throw these uh, 600 displays in here. Give or take a few stops along the way. There we go. And hop back in. Ta-da. There we go. That's better. All right. No way. Wow. I think we did the math in another episode. I think I do need every single one of those displays. Can I grab from here? Oh, it's not connected. I got all excited there. Uh, and we're back. Okay, so we should have all the components we need uh, to get this under wraps. So let's go here, check my inventory real quick. We need steel plate. One single solid seal plate. Reason is, is I cut the hole here. So 
Yeah, during my frustration of not plumbing everything up correctly um, beforehand, like I should have to prepare for this, um, I forgot about that. It's connected to a large container inside the ship that I needed all the items out of. So during the cut, I grabbed all the items out of the ship, all the items out of the maelstrom, which is nowhere to be found because I went and put him back like I'm supposed to. There he is over there with the price, iron price. So, okay, let's get this done. All right. So hopefully no more interruptions. Let's get this done. Okay, going along, looks good. Come on, let's get them all done. No, no, come on, come on, come on, please finish all of them. Two left, two left. Boom, all done. It, quite honestly, those look way freaking better. Oh man, Th those, those look fantastic. Wow, all right. So, um, <laughs> I just want to check something real quick. I am not picking a color. I just, I just want to see if, uh, what it looks like there. When we put some color to it. I do not want this to be red. I'm just throwing some color on there. That's kind of cool. All right. So we're going to go back to shift P. Shift P. And if you hold down shift in your middle mouse button, it will do a blanket area. I'm sure I've covered this before. Just throwing it out there to make sure people know. So, all right, those are all done. All right. Ship is coming along. Okay, let's go down the real stairs real quick. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Put your tools back when you're done with them, have it. Come on. and docked turn our thrusters off all right so soon you'll be up and running the same way all right so let's go downstairs we need um we can get components out of equipment downstairs uh so iron price is well not quite so iron uh he's his diet's kind of short right now he is out of iron so all that production over there has stopped so we're gonna G. We need a conveyor. We have tubes already on our list, so we need interior plates, not steel plates. We just left a cart container. I'll take that. That looks good for now. Um, we are going to find our orientation. There we go. Uh, so I want to go here for that because we're gonna need this connector like so and then I am just going to throw caution to the wind and do that I don't feel comfortable doing that I really don't like just one point of connection so I'll probably tie this all up somehow later on and well since I don't like one point of connection I guess I could do it use that to do it so we'll go that's my fault for putting all those components and those other things and we there's no plates in there we know that we just looked so no plates in there either arg so i'm gonna there made it to where i know where it's at so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna pipe this across Actually, scratch that. We are going to use the modded tube, and I'll actually I'm going to replace those as well. There's a modded tube that actually has connectors, so it doesn't look like it. Here it is. So it doesn't look like it's floating. The mounted conveyor tube. So, like that. It looks cool. That looks way cool. Whoa, missed.
actually looks like uh, it's supposed to be there. So, alright, take out you, take out you. And hopefully it uses the same level components, maybe a little bit more steel plates maybe because of the legs. I'd be okay with that. Okay, alright. That looks cooler. I like that. That's way better. Gives a little bit more uh, immersion, as it were. And I'm okay with that one being like that because, well, it's suspended between two pieces of equipment. Um, do I just straight up to those? Yeah, I guess I do. Let's go back in. Alright, so here we go. Straight tubes up. Boom. Boom. To there and to there. And how do we want to tie this together? I don't know if I want to just run straight tubes straight up on that. God, it would be nice if that reactor was out two more blocks. Maybe even just one more block so we can tie that together there and leave this open. Ooh. Duh. Duh. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Ooh, we can pipe it here maybe? Oh yes, oh yeah, there we go. Cool. We are gonna pipe it up right here. I am liking this. That works. And we're gonna go to this. Put that down to the floor so it has some support in there. And boom, there it is. Okay. Almost like I knew what we were doing there, huh? Come on, you guys know from the video earlier on. I totally didn't plan that. All right, so we are done for today. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, I am going to get this edited and up to you guys ASAP and um, get up here to the control tower. Uh, uh, actually, get up to your control tower. I have another point of interest I need to verify. Five days uranium. Okay, five days we're producing right now, so under our refineries are kicking away. Um, let's see, inventory. Refineries. So you're not doing anything? Oh, we're almost through our platinum? Whoa. Wow, we're almost done with that platinum. Holy cow, I didn't think that would ever get done. We have so many refineries now. Uh, it looks like they're not all linked up. That's all right. Well, that's something for the next episode. Uh, this will be done here soon enough. That's freaking awesome. I did not anticipate this happening. Put 30 ish back over there. Um, that's awesome. We're going to be done with platinum. All our refineries are done. The ship is pretty well underway. Uh, we get that refinery issue fixed with no connection issue so we can move stuff fluidly between all the refineries we add our script for all our refineries um we might take this thing out what do you guys think work out any of the bugs before any major more any more major construction comes along yeah, I think we will. So uh, stay tuned next episode. We will finish uh, piping up all of the different in internal workings that are missing piping, like our new re refineries and such. To And we also are going to need those large containers. Uh, once we get this thing up and going, we're definitely going to need all those large containers. Um, so, all right. So that's it for now. Um, havoc it's been great and uh, once again i want to say uh, thank you to my 50 subs thus far my 2000 views on my channel i'm just so excited all right it's havoc till next time